the question I guess that has got to start this off is, um, do you think the bill gives local authorities uh, enough of a range of options to help them deliver a better bus service in their areas and respond to local needs? Now, you said you were coming in on buses, and in you come. <laughs> I can. Um, yeah, so we, on the 3rd of October, we handed in our petition with 10,184 signatures collected from across Glasgow, calling for publicly owned buses and calling for a fully integrated and accessible public transport network. We don't think that, well, we know the bill in its current state isn't going to deliver um, a public bus company for Glasgow um, that matches up to what you have here in Edinburgh with Lothian buses. Um, we want the bill to be amended so that publicly owned companies can run both commercial and non-commercial routes. So again, they can cross-subsidise, use profits from profitable routes in Glasgow, um, which are currently all being run by first buses, use that profit to subsidise le less profitable routes. Um, and in terms of franchising, we do see that franchising could deliver huge benefits to Glasgow if it was properly implemented. But we're worried with having these two different options, having the bus service improvement partnerships and the franchising option, that local authorities will, um, basically they need to be enforced, uh, forced, as you said, suggested Jamie, to implement the franchising frameworks um, and to make it work for passengers rather than for the profit-making bus companies.